Although I'm calling this banana chutney, really I would add some raisins and almonds to this if I was going to use it as an accompaniment to Indian food. This is the way I prepare it as a flavoring agent for other purposes, better known as a base sauce. There are many applications and this is so delicious that you'll have to control yourself from just eating it straight out of the bottle after you make it. As usual, we're going to begin by getting our principal ingredients lined up. I have the onion, the ginger, cinnamon stick, uh, red chili, and banana here. And then we're going to add enough oil here to cover the bottom of the pan. And it gets hot, I'm going to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds to this. And you can estimate, it doesn't have to be exact. And when these start to pop, then you know it's just ready. It'll take a few minutes. After a few minutes when the mustard seeds start to pop, then we're going to add the banana, which I just sliced up. It heats on 7 out of 1 to 10. We're going to cook this until the banana begins to soften up, break up a little bit. Actually, it's going to heat down to 6. On it. After 3 minutes, I'm going to turn these over. Don't let them burn, of course. So you can see they're starting to break up. That's what you want. This is the stage you want. This is, this is fine. Now, I'm going to add the onions, which I, I cut up roughly, coarsely. Ginger, which I also cut up coarsely. As you can see, don't cut it too small, it'll burn. Uh, chili. One chili. <laughs> cut up the cinnamon stick. and he's going to turn on. Now I'm going to turn the heat down to four and I'm going to bring, I'm going to cook this for quite a while here as you'll see, slowly. Be patient, stir it once in a while. Let all flavors blend. And I'm going to turn the heat down to three. Keep the lid on it and uh, let it cook for a while here. And after 15 minutes, we stir it occasionally during that 15 minutes too, but we make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. Now I'm going to add 120 milliliters, about 4 ounces of cider vinegar. And two tablespoons, actual tablespoons always, of sugar. And now we're going <clears> to <throat> bring it to a simmer and cook it without any uh, lid on it for a little while to try to get rid of the harshness, the harshness of the vinegar. Okay, after about 12 minutes of simmering, you'll see it's not so watery liquidy anymore. It's kind of oily looking. And if you taste it, it has a, a sweetness to it that it didn't have before, and it also has a, um, a butteriness to it that it didn't have. So I, don't forget to remove the cinnamon stick. This is not going <laughs> not going to process well. Get this out of there, and um, then um, we're going to cool it down. We're going to turn the heat off, let it cool just a little bit before. It Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.